friends, welcome to the Wild Cherry Farm and my first Nature Journal with me video. A few weeks ago I shared how we use a journal to do nature study and today I want to give you a little peek into our process from start to finish. So come along and join me in the Irish countryside to fill a page in our nature journal. It was a very um, wet and gloomy day and we were on holidays in our camper van and I decided to just make use of the day and draw something in my nature journal. So I took out uh, my pencil case. I made this myself a few years ago and um, so all I needed was like a pencil, a few black pens and my Windsor and Newton travel kit watercolors and of course my nature journal. I found uh, a few oak leaves outside that I just picked up from the ground and I decided to draw them. They're not really native to Ireland but um, still they're growing here and I decided to find out more about them. So first I took my pencil and started to roughly get the shape of the leaves and the twig. So when I first draw the outline of something with a pencil, it doesn't have to look good at all. It's just really about getting uh, an idea for the shape of the thing I'm drawing. Later I'm going over it with a black pen anyway. I don't always do that, but I decided to do that today. So this first step might take around five to ten minutes. You just get an idea and roughly sketch sketch the shape. Once you're happy with the way it looks, more or less, you can take out your black pen and draw around the outlines again. And this time you already know what your leaves or twigs look like, so it's a bit easier the second time around. And you also have your, uh, your sketch to follow along. I just follow the outline. And again, it's not about looking good or creating a piece of artwork unless that's what you want to do it's more about learning something about your chosen species because even the shapes of leaves can be so different even the shapes of oak leaves can be different i knew that this was an oak but i didn't know what kind of oak when i started out so before i even find out the name i just spend some time with my species and just draw it, find out more about it. I could write some questions on the side if I wanted to. Then when I'm finished drawing the outlines, I erase all all the pencil drawings and then I add some color. 
And I'm not a watercolor expert, but um, one thing I learned is that with watercolor, it's best to go from light colors to darker colors. So I look at my object and I see what's what is the lightest color here and it's kind of a yellowish tone so I start with that and I mix up some yellow I paint the little parts that are yellow and when you mix colors you you can really play around with them you don't have to get a perfect either but just um, I find it even easier to have a smaller color palette like this like a travel kit because I have to mix up my own colors. So now I'm adding a little bit of green to the yellow just to get this tone of yellowish green and I slowly go from light to dark and with watercolors you can just go over it a few times and it always gets a bit better with time and even if you make mistakes that's okay just keep going no need to be perfect I think it's quite satisfying to call in the lines even just with one type of green and just color it all in or leave a few gaps. Just play around with it. another layer of green, a darker one again. And now I'm mixing up some brown and I'm still using the same color that I started with and I'm just adding a little bit of brown. It's a brownish green now to paint uh, the stem, the twig. And it's always good to keep some um, paper roll or something next to your workspace. So if you make a mistake you can just wet it and just take the paint off it again. Or you can even do this with a, um, a brush, with a clean brush and you just Wet it with water, add a bit of water to the mistake that you made and then with a dry brush take it off again. So I'm probably spending another 10 minutes here painting and adding color. Well, you can do as much or as little as you want. Keep it pleasant so you come back for more and maybe challenge yourself to make one drawing each day for a week to get into it. And finally, when you're finished with your drawing, you can look up the species, look up the name, add it in English and in Latin if you want, add the, the date. And sometimes I also draw a little picture of the, the weather today or write down even the temperature, anything like to keep in your journal. Yeah. And then keep going and see how you can, over the next few days or over the next few weeks, you will discover the same tree again. And, and it's nearly like meeting an old friend because you spent some time with this, this nature friend and you, you learned about them. So I hope you will give it a try. Let me know how you go. Thanks for watching. 
talk to you soon. Bye.